What's going on? They're all running. What are they running from? What the hell? Something going on? Is it a glitch? What the hell is going on? There's everyone is panicking. Wow, what the hell? Oh my god, there's like retarded people. But I'm fine with that, I'll just take this car and go. I'm fine with that, I'm totally fine with that. Wow, there's a lot of them right there. I have to bring on the big bazooka. I gotta lose the cops now because I protected my property against Mexicans shooting at my store. That's pretty awesome. I mean, you know, it's, it's a normal thing, you know. Mexicans shooting at my store and, you know, I'm protecting it and I get a warrant for that. That makes sense. Awesome sense. Hello? Who wouldn't want that kind of stuff? Okay. That's all you get. I think I don't get paid for that. Seriously, what is going on? How does it go down when they're saying it's going up? I don't get it. I don't understand stocks, man. I I, I uh I invested like eight hundred eight hundred thousand on this. I bought like five thousand stock. Each one's like two hundred some dollars. And and like the stock I bought for like cheap or something and then it went down I don't get it I, I don't understand yeah You want like you want the stock to go up percent so you get money, right? If it goes down you lose money, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna get. I don't know if I should still wait for the stocks to go up. Right now, the stock is like uh, zero, negative zero point zero three. It's um, it's a uh, um, worry beer. It's like beer and stuff. It's a beer company. like two hundred dollars but it's okay I have like close to a mil but the good thing is if you have like a shitload of stocks and it went up to like one percent you get a lot of money you know you get a lot more money than you think you do and then you can sell all your stock and you get extra income. Right? Oh, it's in the strip club. What the fuck? Where's the door? right here. What's going on, man? I go so go fucking my whole boy's hands hang around my crib every day. I lost count of how many boobies I seen. I lost count how many boobies I seen. Wait, definitely hanging later. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah, I guess you could say that. It might be possible, but it might become immune to movies. Yeah, huh. Is that even possible you come immune to movies now? Only girls, right? No? Huh. Yeah. Because you have D's, double, triple Z, G's. So, you know. Yeah. It's always a problem to have two big boobs. Sometimes they want, sometimes they want small right, boobs. Women with oh, big boobs. Why you. is that? Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're mm. the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's all right, all right, huh? Enough. Enough. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little uh, out there, but then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one, we hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up and get out. And we need to infiltrate the transportation grid, manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem with this people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You are going to be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, 
And these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Now, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. It's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, per, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more, um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh? You've got to get some police stingers. And only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> and that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Now that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Damn. It's gonna be four tons of gold, man. Gold ain't that heavy, is it? If it's four tons? Damn. Iron is more heavier than gold. I know that. Right? It ain't that complicated. Come on. Yeah, a car can hold at least half a ton or one ton. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know which one I should approach. This is a big score right here. Um, I don't know which one to choose. They're both fun. Uh, We're all waiting. I'm taking my time. B or A or B, Nana? Okay. going to take a big crew, and the two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you and helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored cars and bring the hostages to a safe house. Hey, I used them at the jewelry store, I used them at the bureau. 
I'll use them here. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, is going to be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars and will be in charge of replacing the tires your stingers ripped out. Eddie Toe. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Now, the hacker, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. We've been waiting our whole lives for this one. Are you sure you got this right? Okay, we need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work. As long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Damn, we're about to rob the big one, Aaron. The big one. Like, straight up Kohanas big one, you know, like, really big, like, just straight up vagina big, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, like, I don't agree with you. It's just an online persona. It was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim? You're taking me up Bantam Canyon in this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me! What the hell? Stall him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? I just saved my son, my pathetic son. And then I ran into a pole, electric pole. You know those poles that, you know, electricity makes it go, go one after another in there, you know? Those ones? Yeah, yeah, I hit one of those. And those things are indestructible in the game. You cannot break them. If you run, you know, if you hit them, you know? That's kind of stupid. They should just make that, you know. Yeah, they should. They should make those breakable. I mean, they make like street pole. You know those steel street pole. You run through them, they'll break. But if you run through wood, they cannot break. Trees, they cannot break. I mean, that's not realistic. I mean, if you a car going really, really fast, like a hundred miles an hour or 200 miles an hour, I think I could break a tree. What do you think, man? I, I mean, a tree doesn't weigh a ton. A car does. Right? Yeah. 